Hi guys, good morning, welcome to my channel. I have more fabric to share with you today. Um, so it turns out that all my resolutions that I made at the beginning of the year to not buy any more fabric, well, those have just completely gone to dust. <laughs> and I have jumped off the bandwagon in a major, major way. And I think I've been on a bit of a fabric binge buying of late but um, anyway I'm here to share with you some of the fabrics that I got recently from Southampton I had to go down to Southampton last weekend and as I was just walking along the high street there was a shop called fabric land and well I wasn't going to look fate down the nose and not actually go into the shop so I went in and I had my niece with me and you know it was her first time being in a fabric shop so that was great fun and uh, she helped me choose a few fabrics that I just wanted to share with you. Um, okay, so first of all, I picked up this lovely linen, chambray looking linen fabric, and it's just got really lovely drape and lovely texture to it, and it's a beautiful bluey gray kind of color. And I'm quite excited about this because I think this will make quite a nice archer button up, um, button -up shirt, or Quite possibly another Alder shirt dress, <laughs> but we'll have to see. This was only £4.95 per meter, so I thought that this was really great value, and I got that. What I also found there was some grey fleecy backed sweater fabric, and this is something that I've been looking for because I need these to make, um, you know, loungewear for stuff to wear around the house, and this was only £4.95, so I was like, yay, score! And it's quite a lightweight one. It's not very thick, but I think it will be perfect for spring and summer and quite possibly fall as well. So this, this is going to get made into some jogger pants. I've already got a pattern for it. I can't remember what it's called. And uh, this one was something that my niece really liked. And it's an interlock jersey print, which has got these written messages on it. Um... So I think it says something like, um, smitten, I wish your love grow forever. You know, basically teenage girl kind of stuff. Um, got a meter and a half of it. This was four pounds per meter. And she wants me to make her some leggings at the top. And I will have to make those so that they can be sent off in time for Christmas. I also saw, <laughs> I couldn't resist this one. It's a cute little golden mermaid scale jersey and I just saw it and I immediately thought leggings for my girls, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's lovely. This one was, I think it was £5 per meter so it was a little bit pricier and I got uh, half a meter which is more than enough to make leggings for my little girls. I also got it in a different colorway because it was also available in blue. <laughs> but this one's slightly different so I barely got enough here I think that this will just be made into skirts quite possibly but look at that it's got a beautiful shimmer to it but yeah it's a lovely fabric can't wait to cut that one up for my girls and then the final thing that I got from fabric land which I was super stoked to find was this power mesh um, fabric and what power mesh does is if you're sewing with knits if you put it underneath as lining, especially if you're making like knit dresses, like say McCall's M6886, and you put this underneath as lining, and you just, you maybe cut it just a little bit smaller, it just has the impact of just keeping everything nice and snug and, and smooth, almost like, um, kind of like shapewear, but it's not shapewear, but I find this really, really useful when I'm sewing with knit fabrics, so, it was only £4.95 per meter, which is the cheapest price I've ever come across this um, power mesh fabric. So I bought four meters of it, which should last me a really, really long time. Because I, I really do. I mean, if there is one tip that I could give to anybody who sews a lot of knit dresses, is if you line them with this underneath, even if it's, um, you know, just the bodice bit, it makes such a huge difference to how smooth the garment looks and how it hangs on you. So I just, I love this and I was very, very happy to find it there. And I'll probably go back for some more because they also had it in the white and the black as well. And for £4.95, that is such a fantastic deal. So this for me was the bargain of the trip. 
relationship. Um, so yeah, and um, that was all the stuff that I got from Southampton when I went there and unexpectedly came across a fabric shop. Um, the only tricky bit was when I, because I actually flew to Southampton, was coming back. I didn't have any luggage but on the way back I had luggage to take with me because I bought this fabric so yeah that wasn't a lot of fun um, to do but it's made me realize that the next time that I travel I'll always have to make sure that I have space for fabric in case I happen upon a fabric shop <laughs> okay so that does me for today I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked what you see then please hit the like button down below and I will see you guys later bye